Hello, this is going to be um, Julie Mott, who died following her battle with cystic fibrosis at the age of 25. And then her body was stolen from a funeral home a couple of days later. Um, so what did come out was giant redwood and reverse. In reverse, so it means majesty in the upright. So in reverse, one area of your life is becoming such a dominant force that is starting to over that it is starting to crowd out everything else. This might be a temporary situation or it may be more permanent, but either way, it is leading to a lack of balance that must be redressed. Okay. Truly not. Why or who or why did they take your body from a funeral home? Shell pens? Hmm. Pretty sure I got that for and just keep going. Crafty, visionary, idealistic. Uh, four stickers. Why? Someone take their body to the funeral home. Why did somebody take their body from the funeral home? Why did somebody take their body from the funeral home? Somebody take your body from the funeral home. Okay. So the moon illusional um, psychological mental issues chemical imbalance. I'm not a doctor, but somebody had some real issues. Might have been on coke. I'd rather be skiing. Venture. Where did this happen? Texas? Strength. A backward step. It's something about either taming something, controlling something, finding strength to do or get past something. Having the capability to tame something finally that couldn't be controlled were the circumstances different. Opportunity. Not seeing something, seeing something with ski, gog ski goggles versus those colored glasses. Okay. Julie Mock. What was going on here? Why? Why take your body from the funeral home? Seven of Swords. So 
Destructibly, Revenge. What was gel pens again? Crafty, visionary, idealistic. I'm getting we discussed this, we discussed this, we discussed this. Seven of Swords. What was happening here? Why take your body from the funeral home? Queen of Swords. More mental issues. Or try to memorial memorialize something. Death. Oh, okay. Um Julie Mott. Why? Eight of Wands, we discussed this. Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords, new knowledge. She's got a lion, she's got a sphinx. Uh, something obsessive here. Um, Why did this happen? Who am I? Ten of Pentacles, family, not able to have that family. We discussed family. We discussed what we were going to do. We discussed this plan. Uh, this, I, I don't know why, but I'm getting it feels like. Um, when a pet dies and you try to taxiderm. This is what this is feeling like to me. Why this plan? One more. Okay. Four of Wands. The Black Canyon of Gunnison. I was going to say that something about too big of a mountain to climb, too big of an obstacle to get over. Uh, four of Wands. Not knowing where somebody's going to live, not knowing what somebody's going to do, but I'm getting a Colorado tie, uh, Indiana, California with the redwood. Four of Wands. Ten of Wands, three of Wands. Burden, waiting. Gunnison, Gunnison's Colorado, so. Um, Julie Mott. I'll get one of those. I want a song and a quote if possible. No, oh, let's get stickers. Why Seven of Swords? What was the betrayal? Memorialize. Memorialize. What was the betrayal? Feathers? Maybe. She wanted to be buried somewhere, or cremated and spread out somewhere, and those wishes weren't being followed. I don't know why I'm getting that. Queen of Swords. What's the Queen of Swords? Tribal land? Maybe near tribal land? In Colorado? Or California? Or... Where's the other place? Colorado, California, Indiana. Okay, time's up. Ran out of time for a plan to be executed. In ten. A beginning, an ending, in a beginning. Eight of Wands, what's the communication about? We discussed this. 
We discussed this before. Something about a step parent, a mother, probably a stepmother. Do you even think? Yeah. A tattoo, a memorialized taxidermy. Spread ashes somewhere special. What's the Ten of Pentacles about? What's the Ten of Pentacles about? It's really not. What's the Ten of Pentacles about? Three. I mean, was she what child? Somebody feels like they're not going to get that family. And four of wands, something to love. Overhead plane, but it came in the first. Plane, quarry, canyon. The plane as a bird. Alertness, longevity, success, watchfulness, justice, fidelity. Fine feathers do not make fine birds. Let me read this for a second. In one of ASAP's boobles, a peacock laughs at the duller frame. The frame admits that it may not be as visually stunning as the peacock, but it has the capability to soar to the very heavens, whereas the peacock is stuck on the ground. The moral of the story is the commonly repeated adage, fine feathers do not make fine birds. I'm going to end it with one of these, Jewel Knot. Journey, Imagination. Uh, I didn't get a song, let me get a song. Or pull, yeah, he's out. Stubborn love for luminaries. Okay. She was hesitant. She loved that deep with this person. And he loved her in many lifetimes, which, whatever this is, I don't know. Um, a new gateway is opened. You are invited to step into an unexplored world with a new perspective. Have faith the journey will guide you safely and valiantly through unfamiliar territory. You may be blinded for a while as you stumble through the unknown. Be, but continue to trust. May you are being led to the adventure you seek. It is time to stop playing the safe. Your dreams can only be realized if you dare to explore unfamiliar avenues. Imagination is the key. Journey invites you to meet the mystical beings, guides, and totems you have been longing to connect with. As you traverse through other worlds, you will be amazed by the wonders you see. These marvels have been in your imagination waiting to be seen. Who told you to ignore the pictures and scenes that play out in your mind? Trust in the visionary. You truly are. You are not making it all up. When journey appears, it brings the thrill of new experience and anticipation. The shamanic journey begins when you have a shift of consciousness and the desire to discover your inner self, missing parts of the soul, the ancestors, healing, lost power or your power animal for your soul flight to take place use a drum or rattle 
to assist you. By removing yourself from ordinary, everyday, logical thinking, you can discover a whole new way of being. Other divinatory meanings. Trust your visions. Everything in your imagination is real. Three feathers. Number three. Your manifestation skills are strong, so be careful with your thoughts and projections. A new experience opens up a whole world of possibilities. Home is adventures here, so close your eyes. Fall down tunnel, fly to skies. Imagination is the key. Trust, believe, and you shall see. Maybe she wanted to pass in a certain way or be dealt with after passing in a certain way. And maybe whether the body is trying to fulfill her wishes. Maybe this is what this is. Uh, or the complete opposite, they were mentally challenged and took it upon themselves to send her to the next life in the way they deemed was fit. Okay, thank you.